channel. It's your girl, Brittany Bear Makeup here. For those of you guys who are new, then welcome. Today's video is all about the Becky G times ColourPop collaboration. You guys, I went to the launch party yesterday. It was phenomenal. She is so gorgeous, so full of life and energy. And I really want to see if she put all of that love, all of that personality into this collaboration. And I really want to get to the bottom of it. So don't forget to turn on your guys' post notifications so you guys could be a part of my bear family. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and as always guys, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. And keep on watching as we take a closer look into Becky G and ColourPop's collaboration. You are now, now rocking with Britney, bitch. So I went ahead and received the PR package from ColourPop Cosmetics and I am so obsessed with how it looks. I honestly love this whole theme. It kind of reminds me of Dia de los Muertos, which is very traditional for Hispanic culture, Mexican culture. So when I opened up the package, I saw that she added a little Patron bottle, which I thought was so cute to add. She also added one of these little shot glasses. This just reminds me of home and family and I love this. Then you have her palette right in the center, Salvaje, which is what her palette is called. And I just love it. I love the theme of it. On the bottom, it included her five liquid lipsticks as well as her two highlighter shades. So what I'm going to do today is I'm gonna go through all of the products. We are going to do swatches. We are going to test it out. I'm gonna let you guys know my honest, genuine opinion. I love Becky G, but I wanna be unbiased and I want to really see if this is a product that I would recommend to you guys this holiday season. So let's go ahead and get started with using our Salvaje palette. All right guys, so this is her palette. I went ahead and I primed my eyelids. It is called Salvaje. And as you guys can see, she kept it very similar to the PR package. So I'm gonna open up this palette. It is beautiful, just off first sight. I really love the colors that she chose. This is a very aesthetically pleasing palette. So apart from this, guys, this palette is gonna retail for a total of $16. Right off the bat, that's under $20. That's an amazing, amazing price for a palette. So you have a total of four beautiful shimmer shades in this palette, and then the rest of the shades are going to be matte. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in and really test out this eyeshadow palette. So for today, I'm gonna begin by taking a Morphe M441 brush, and I'm gonna dip it into the shade Luna, because Luna is just literally, it is, it's speaking to me today. I'm going to begin by packing this color onto my lid. Ooh, this is pretty. I honestly do have to say right off the bat, I'm noticing that it's going on very pigmented and it is definitely giving me that creaminess and it's blending out very nice. So that is my first impression of it. You guys can obviously see for yourself what is going on. So pretty, very vibrant. So the thing about me guys is that when I'm reviewing a product, even though the price point is very affordable, I still have extremely high standards. And I'm gonna let you guys know all the flaws about the palette, all the pros about the palette, because I want you guys to really value your money and get everything that you wanna get for the amount you're paying for the palette. So I do want to say right off the bat, this palette is just impressing me regardless of how inexpensive it is. It's blending out so pretty and it's really doing its job. All right guys, so here is this shade right here. This is Lola. It is beautiful. It went on. I'm just, I'm really impressed with Lola. Lola, you know what you're doing, girl. So I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna mix a couple colors because I'm kind of unsure where I wanna go with this. I feel like there's so many options. So I love Estrella, Celosa, and Corona because I love Corona, so I got, I have to see what's going on. I'm gonna go into Corona, Estrella, as well as Celosa, and I'm gonna pack this onto my lid. Ooh, this is a pretty combo, guys. Mm, this is going on good. Ooh, so these are some of her shimmer shades, and they definitely are going on very pigmented, very creamy-like. I'm gonna use my finger because sometimes I notice with my finger, it's a little bit more pigmented. Oh yeah, there we go. The finger always does it. I have used some palettes that go for like $50, $60 range, and I don't even get this type of pigmentation. So you guys, this is beautiful. It's creamy. It's luscious. It feels gorgeous on the face. Like everything about it, I'm impressed with. 
So now that I went ahead and I applied the eyeshadow that I wanted to apply, I'm gonna go underneath my eye and I'm going back into Lola and I'm just going to apply that underneath my eye just to kind of finish off the look. We're gonna apply concealer, foundation, all of that in a little bit, but other than that, this is just going to finish everything off. I'm gonna mix a little bit of Corona in there too because I love how gold it is. That is so pretty to me. Like, I'm really obsessed with the colors she chose. Fun little fact, guys, is that growing up, I used to sing. And back in the day, we used to do something called school tours. And Becky G was on the school tour. So growing up, I would always see her perform. And she was actually one of the performers on the school tour with me. So I've known her since she was so young. And I remember seeing her perform and just the way she was and carried herself and knowing that one day she was gonna blow up and become so successful. So it's the craziest thing to see her success now and how beautiful and amazing she's become throughout the years so that's really exciting for me so I'm gonna go off camera for a second I'm gonna finish off the other eye and then I'm gonna give you guys swatches of this palette want to keep this very simple very fast to the point you guys saw for yourself these colors they're fly so let's go ahead and get some swatches going so let me do that and I'll be back in a second I'm also gonna put on my foundation so don't be scared when you guys see me come back a brand new girl Okay. All right, Bear Fam. So now that I went ahead and I finished off my foundation for the most part, I still need a little blush and a little pizzazz, but we'll get to that in a second. We're gonna go ahead and swatch the shades now and kind of give you guys a very honest one swipe type of swatch to show you guys the pigmentation of this palette. So I just watched this palette and I have to say, I've done a lot of reviews. And mostly one of the main things that I talk about in all my reviews is fallout. You guys saw me apply this eyeshadow and I know it was only one of the matte shades, but I got no fallout. I also went ahead and I dug my brush into other shades to kind of see if there was any fallout and there wasn't. I really genuinely feel like this is a palette I will use so many times in my life. All right guys, so as you can see, as I applied my foundation, I kept it kind of matte because I'm gonna go in with her highlighters. She she blessed this with two beautiful highlighters and these are actually going to retail for seven dollars each so the first highlighter that we have here now this one is called princesa which is translated into princess really like the name once again guys same packaging as the other ones it's gonna be all of those beautiful floral prints so this is what it looks like this is called princesa and as you can see it's like a an opal it has little grades of pink sparkles in it it's just kind of a mixture of a whole bunch of different colors I'm gonna go ahead and show you the next one. This one's called Cheesme. So Cheesme right here, I feel like it has a little bit more of a warmer type of undertone. I feel like if you're more bronze, you might wanna go for Cheesme, and if you're a little lighter complected, then Princesa is going to be your shade, girl. For myself, I'm gonna try Cheesme because I'm all about the Cheesme, the gossip, the family secrets, okay? Prior to me applying it, I feel like if I have somewhat of a more damp type of base, it's going to stick and adhere to my skin a little better. So I'm gonna grab my Morphe setting spray. I'm gonna spray my face, just like a nice light spritz. So I'm gonna go in and just kind of tap it off. Let me get my mirror so I could see. Oh, she wasn't playing with the cheats, man. Oh my gosh. Holy moly, guys, this is beautiful. I'm about to look like, like real shiny in a minute because I'm about to get carried away with this, but this is gorgeous. I'm gonna put a little bit on my Cupid's bow too. And why not? I'm just gonna go all out and just like sprinkle it all over my body. You guys, I have to say, I am extremely impressed with this little loose powder pigment. I love this, like this is gorgeous. And I honestly will probably start wearing this all the time now because this really performed above and beyond my expectations. And it's only $7. So if you have a friend this holiday season and you're on a budget, just sprinkle some of this chisme and princesa and girl, you are ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch both the color so you guys can see the pigmentation and really see which one you think would actually be best for your skin tone. So the final and last product that we're going to be reviewing today for the Becky G Times ColourPop collaboration is going to be her liquid lipsticks. So these bad boys are going to retail you $6.50. I'm still kind of shocked that ColourPop is that affordable because $6.50, that's like me not going to In-N-Out one day just to get my favorite liquid lipstick that can last me probably a couple months. The first shade that she has going on is called Miha and Miha is a very beautiful soft pink shade. This 
piece is really pretty and I feel like it's a gorgeous nude pink and it says that the formula is going to be a beautiful ultra satin lip so here is this one the next shade that we have going on this one is a little bit more of a red orange and this one is called besame which means kiss me this is a very very beautiful color as well then we have like a light orange nude shade and this one is called secreto which means secret so this is a very beautiful color it's a soft light orange shade and I feel like this would go with my look but I think I kind of want I don't know if I want like a more bolder lip so I'm still looking let me go ahead and go through all of the shades the next one is called chola which oh my god that is hilarious this one right here looks like a very light burgundy shade so this would be really pretty for fall or for the holidays coming up and then the last color I have here is called flor is a really pretty orange shade I feel like flor is calling my name I need to apply it on my lips and really see to finish off this look so I'm gonna go ahead and use the little applicator and try out the formula it's going on very smooth and creamy I love how it feels it's not super like I don't know normally when I use liquid lipsticks they really dry out my lips like instantly and make them feel super chapped so because this is more a satin finish, I don't feel like it does that at all. It's actually just going on really creamy and smooth and it's making my lips feel hydrated at the same time. Alright guys, so I quickly went ahead and added swatches so that you guys could see the colors and I just want to talk about what shades I feel like are worth your money. This is the one time I'm ever going to tell you that if you chose any one of these colors, they are gorgeous. I mean, she really nailed each and every color to my liking specifically. So I feel like any one of these lip colors are to die for and they would look good on so many different complexions. And once again guys, they're only $6.50 so just don't go to in and out one day and you can go ahead and get yourself a beautiful liquid lipstick that's gonna last a couple months. Alright guys, so that pretty much sums up the three things that she came out with with her eyeshadow palette, her highlighters, and her liquid lipsticks. All of them blew Britney Bear away. Okay, my wig is falling off guys. 100% verified Becky G ColourPop. You guys did a phenomenal job on this collaboration. Thank you guys so much for watching today's review. I do want to give a huge post notification shout out to my girl Kate. Kaylee, Kaylee, Nicole, thank you girls so much for turning on your post notifications and constantly showing me so much love and support. I'm so grateful for you. If you guys want a post notification shout out yourself, all you guys have to do is turn on your post notifications and comment when done. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and as always guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel and I will see all of my bear family in the next video. Bye guys.